Hey there, fellow Pelians. Today we're welcoming the open beta and we're diving into the world of Pelia. Pelia is an open-world game that seamlessly blends elements of exploration, crafting, and magical adventure. Set in a captivating, maybe fantasy realm, you'll find yourself in the Kilima village. You will start with meeting with the mysterious lore of Pelia, some villagers, and you will happen to own a property that you can customize and develop as you embark on your journey. Crafting is an essential aspect of Pelia. As you venture forth, gather resources like wood, rock, and bugs. Yes, a lot of bugs. The best passive way to make money in the region of Kilima at the moment is actually growing tomatoes. Don't forget to water them at 6. The active way of making money is hunting and bugs. Keep in mind that this can change as in close beta, antlers were 140 coins and now they are 43 each. Fishing is best when you are with other Pelions, up to 5 people, so you can reduce by 50% the biting speed. Fishing with Worm to make a lot of change in your catch too. The fishing minigame only requires moving side to side and keeping the bait in the green, then left mouse click to collect your fish. Don't forget to upgrade your crafting stations to unlock more advanced recipes. And once you do that, don't forget to visit Sifu, the best hunter in the 12 regions to fix them before they break. Helia also offers its adventures to love interests, and those love interests can be the NPCs that are available for romancing and developers shared that in the future there will be a lot more options available for players, like me having fond memories of Sims relationships and marriages. Helia also offers an exciting multiplayer experience. You can team up to hunt and farm so you can share the loot among more people. Combining your strengths and abilities will lead to fantastic experience, unforgettable moments and a lot more loot. Here are some fast tips and tricks for you. Keyboard tricks that you can actually also check in your settings menu but a lot of players miss that as we expect the game to introduce us to them while playing and they miss them. First, you can use emotes by pressing T on your keyboard and toggle the emotes you have. Second, you can remove what you are holding when pressing X on your keyboard. Third, pressing K is for camera mode. There is even a selfie mode at the right bottom. Fourth, you can use your glider when you obtain it while progressing in the game, when you press the spacebar twice. And fifth, you can walk slowly by pressing control. And some map tricks. First, you can use the map by pressing M. If you get lost, there is actually a fast button option to go home that you can use every half an hour. Second, you can fast travel in exchange for money between selected locations on your current map from the board around the map that have the horseshoe icon. Third, you can also put a pin around the map with your mouse and pin places. You can also pin NPCs with the left click on your mouse. Fourth, if you don't see a character on the main map, there is a big chance that they are in Bahari Bay, which is another map that you can see the door to it on the right. And six, to invite more people, press O. If you want your party to be in the same channel, just invite them again through the O key menu. You can see them then around the map as green dot and their names will be in different colors for you to recognize them easily. Camp tricks. Go to builder design mode. You can move objects on your lot by pressing control on your keyboard and grabbing the item. You can turn it around with Q and A. Second, with H, you can move around larger items from bird point of view. Third, you can put items back when pressing Ctrl and pointing at the item, then press G. 
fourth, you can also remove all your gates around your plot this way, but beware that you cannot put them back in the same place and there is no option for control Z. Character tips. Remember to eat so you can fill your focus. In the early game, you can craft and use a campfire to grill easy to find paint. Like shining mushrooms you're gonna see in your camp early game. The focus bar helps you gain more experience and level up. Second, go to shrines to pray often as you can stack up to only a thousand renown. This will help you upgrade your focus bar. Each prayer takes around a hundred focus. Third, Chat with all the NPCs regularly. Give them presents they will like and ask about their interests. This will help you in your gameplay and also in your relationships with them, including romantic interests. You can check relationships when pressing L. You can also check them when you press I for your bag and go to the heart icon. Fourth, hovering over skills while in I, meaning bag, will show you to whom you should talk to for different skills. And fifth, you can also change the items in your R, meaning tools, menu from there if you wish so. Sixth, to get seed for trees, you have to chop down a fully grown tree. The drop is random, so be prepared to chop a lot. Seventh, you can have up to eight storage containers on your lot and they are connected to each other. There is also the option to make an upgraded storage bin that holds a lot more items than the regular one. Eighth, you will find a lot of secret loot around the game in the form of a box just sitting somewhere. There is even a map of some of the loot other Paleons have found and recorded that you can find on Pelia Wiki. And here is a list of things that we wish we could have. First of all, we actually need and want a minimap. Second of all is pet. Third, the option to use the furniture. Fourth, using emotes and furniture while taking pictures with K. Five, we wish we had more body type options. Six, better multiplayer experience, especially while hunting. Seventh, more traveling options, except the paraglider and the horseshoe that you can use for teleporting. But we have high hopes for that in the future updates. The whole experience overall reminds us of Ghibli movies, Tolkien, Avatar, both of them, Fortnite, Animal Crossing, Sims and a lot more love games and movies making it an enjoyable experience. I would recommend also joining Palia Discord channel for faster game updates and joining a big community of fellow Palians. That's from me. Thank you for watching.